Oh yeah, let's learn English with the new Lion King movie. So if you're anything like me, the original Lion King was probably quite a highlight of your youth. And that's why I thought that with this new version, it would make a perfect lesson for you guys. We have some interviews with the entire cast, including Beyonce, and some clips from the new movie. And every week we help the learners to understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes, and without subtitles. Just like Parmita, who says that with our lesson, she has taken her English to the next level. So if you want to be able to improve your English too, we would love to help you to do it. You just have to hit that subscribe button and the bell down below so you don't miss any of our new lessons. Look closer. He lives in you. Lion King was a story that people knew intimately. Simba. The reason the Lion King has endured is because the inspiration that we're getting from it is universal. <laughs> it's a story that remains true to everybody. The songs were amazing. It just felt like everything you want from a Disney movie. Getting to relive it in a new way is really exciting. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? Nice. Boom. Lion King was a story that people knew intimately. More literally speaking, being intimate with somebody or something relates to having an extremely close relationship with them or a deeper knowledge about it. And when I spun it really, really fast, it gave me the ability to fly. Every time I threw it, it would always come back to me. It sounds like you had a pretty special and intimate relationship with this hammer and that losing it was almost comparable to losing a loved one. It's a nice way of putting it. Here, Jon Favreau, the director of the new Lion King movie, talks about how fans feel deeply connected with the story in the original Lion King movie. The reason the Lion King has endured is because the inspiration that we're getting from it is universal. In this case, to endure simply means to continue to exist, to last. People are dying, Alfred. What would you have me do? Endure, Master Wayne. Take it. Today I found out what Batman can't do. He can't endure this. The reason the Lion King has endured is... He's referring to how the original movie has continued or remained relevant to people even though it's been 25 years since it was released. It's a story that remains true to everybody. Here again, they talk about how connected to the story the fans still feel by saying that it remains true to everybody. This refers to how its message and the values are still just as relevant as when it was released. In other words, we could say that The Lion King is a classic or timeless film. The songs were amazing. It just felt like everything you want from a Disney movie. When he says, everything you want from a Disney movie, we can understand that he's referring to all the similar elements found in Disney animations, such as great original music, talented voice actors, a fascinating story, all while being very impressive visually. Do you like Disney movies? What is your favorite thing about them? Share in the comments below and see what other learners have said. What's a motto? Nothing! What's a motto with you? Nice! Boom! A motto is a short sentence with a rule on how to behave or think that is used by a person or institution as to define their way of life. For example, be prepared is the motto of the Boy Scouts. All my life, my motto has been aim high. Repeat after me. <coughs> Hakuna Matata. What? Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. Ain't no person craze. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, it's our motto. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? <laughs> you know, kid, these two words will solve all your problems. That's right. The joke here is that the pronunciation in the sentence, what's a motto, sounds like he's saying, what's the matter? It's very normal considering that with connected speech, the sentence what's the matter becomes what's a matter when pronounced in a natural way in English. Again, compare the two spoken at natural speed. What's a motto, what's a matter? So, as a joke, Timon responds 
what's a model with you, which also sounds very similar to what's the matter with you. By the way, if we ask someone what's the matter with you, we are showing that we have detected they have some problem and we want to know what it is. However, if asked angrily or sarcastically, it's considered an insult, meaning that you are saying that person is problematic and abnormal. Joe, your dad's in love big time. And the worst part of it is, it's with two different women. Oh, man. Please tell me one of them is Ma. Of course, of course one of them is Ma. What's the matter with you? Hey, so I know you're watching this because you're passionate about English fluency. And so I wanted to let you know that from now until July 20th, it's Fluency Week. In order to celebrate hitting 700,000 subscribers on Learning with TV series, almost 750 now, and to thank you for all of your support for all of our lessons, we want to give you a really huge opportunity over the next year to take your English fluency to the next level with a 33% discount on our premium course, Fluent with Friends. Just like Clover, who says that she has had a much more real life learning experience than in school. Wouldn't you just love if this time next year you could confidently understand all of your favorite movies and series without subtitles in English? Well, to learn more about the course and sign up, simply click up here or down in the description below. And remember to get your 33% off, just use the coupon code 700k at checkout. And hurry because this offer is only available for a few more days. I look forward to seeing you inside the Fluency Circle, and let's continue with the lesson. I'm entering into Lion King, inheriting all that I learned on Jungle Book. There was a tremendous opportunity to retell the story using a new set of tools and a new technology. John just seems to have it all there. It's really impressive how he just sort of holds that all together. I really admire the vast array of talent that's been assembled for this film. It's a privilege to be counted among these actors. Dad, let me come, I can help. No, son, you stay with the other cubs. I'm entering into Lion King, inheriting all that I learned on Jungle Book. Literally, to inherit is to receive money, property, etc. from someone after they have died. Example. She inherited a fortune from her father. Hmm. Whoa, what is this, a brand new fur coat? Look at this thing. Oh yeah, I inherited some money from a dead uncle of mine. Is that right? I didn't even know you had an uncle. Well, I did. And he was rich as hell too, baby. So, in a way, we can say that figuratively, The Lion King is inheriting John's experience from The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book is a fantasy adventure movie also produced by Jon Favreau, which similarly was a remake of a classic Disney animation. There was a tremendous opportunity to retell the story using a new set of tools. Using a new set of tools. There was a tremendous opportunity to retell the story using a new set of tools and a new technology. Tremendous means very great in amount, scale, or intensity, mostly used to also emphasize how positive or negative something is to a context. A rage and uh, vengeance, anger, loss, regret, they're all tremendous motivators. They really clear the mind, so I'm, I'm good to go. A set of things is a group or a collection of related things. So, what do you say, Joey? You get the whole set of encyclopedias for $1,200. That works out to just 50 bucks a book. $1,200? <laughs> there was a tremendous opportunity to retell the story using a new set of tools and a new technology. He's saying that this was a great opportunity to tell the story once again with this new movie, now that we have access to more resources and more sophisticated technologies, 25 years after the first movie came out. John just seems to have it all there. It's really impressive how he just sort of holds that all together. By saying that John has it all, he means that he is very talented and capable of doing everything that is necessary. To hold it all together means to be able to keep all different parts of a larger whole running and working together. It's really impressive how he just sort of holds that all together. How he just sort of holds that all together. It's really impressive how he just sort of holds that all together. I really admire the vast array of talent that's been assembled for this film. An array is a large group of things or people organized together. Vast describes something that is very great in size, amount, degree, or intensity. 
To assemble is to come together in a single place or to bring parts together in a single group for a common purpose. When used with objects, it refers to putting together different pieces so to mount or manufacture a larger, more complex object. Example, in this factory they can completely assemble a new car every two hours. When talking about people, to assemble them is simply to get all of them in one place or to work on one project together. Example, Nick Fury assembled the Avengers to save the world. So here he's talking about how he admires the large quantity of talented professionals working together in this film. I'd really admire the vast array of talent that's been assembled for this film. It's a privilege to be counted among these actors. Dad, let me come, I can help. No, son, you stay with the other cubs. A cub is a young carnivorous mammal. Bears, tigers, and lions are a few examples of animals that have cubs. And then the music, there was such a rich tradition surrounding the songs that Hans and Elton and Tim Rice and now Pharrell worked on. Also, it's nice to have actors who are both the performers and the singers. You have Beyonce and Donald. They present something totally new and exciting. You have to take your place as king. These are real musicians bringing their creative voices to this. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna, Matata. You guys sounded great. <laughs> also, it's nice to have actors who are both the performers and the singers. Here, he means that it's nice to have performers who can work both as actors and singers, instead of having to include other people just to sing the different musical parts in the movie, as was the case in the original Lion King. Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna, Matata. If something is problem free, you cannot find any problems in it, or it doesn't create any problems for you. Example So far, the trip has been trouble free. This has been a really incredible experience. I've never seen anything made this way before. The level of care where everybody knows how much it means and everybody's that invested. Seeing you again, you don't know what this will mean to everyone. I love the idea of audiences rediscovering something. You know that it's going to be very compelling and exciting. We wanted to capture what people's memory was of this with both the music and the imagery. And I think when you could capture the spirit but show them something new and surprising, it's sort of the best combo. It is time. This has been a really incredible experience. This has been a really incredible experience. This has been a really incredible experience. I've never seen anything made this way before. The level of care where everybody knows how much it means and everybody's that invested. As an adjective, to be invested in something is to have an interest in something as a result of a commitment to it or an investment in it of resources such as time, effort, and money. Example, she's deeply invested in this project and wants it to succeed. I love the idea of audiences rediscovering something. You know that it's gonna be very compelling and exciting. If you describe something such as a film or book or someone's appearance as compelling, you mean you want to keep looking at it or reading it because you find it so interesting. Example, his eyes were strangely compelling. Another common meaning to this adjective is found when collocated with the word argument. A compelling argument is one that effectively convinces you that something is true or that something should be done. You could often hear this in legal context. Uh, Ms. Botwin, Judge Franklin in Oakland. Now, let me get right to the point. Your lawyer has uh, presented me with a compelling argument. We wanted to capture what people's memory was of this with both the music and the imagery. To capture literally means to trap or take something by force. Example, learning how to capture rabbits and other small animals helped him to survive. However, here he is referring to accurately representing people's memory of the movie. Example, she hopes that the photos she takes will capture the excitement of her trip through Europe. I became obsessed with this painting of this woman who had a blue scarf on holding a baby. And Hannah said that painting captured the essence of that woman better than any photograph. And I think when you could capture the spirit but show them something new and surprising, it's sort of the best combo. It's sort of the best combo.
And I think when you could capture the spirit but show them something new and surprising, it's sort of the best combo. A combo is a combination of different things, normally also implying the fact that it is a good combination. Example, this place serves a great burger and milkshake combo. Now, let's take a look at a recent short interview Beyonce did about her part in the new Lion King movie. The Waco Gala for me is exciting because it's one of the only red carpets that I do with my family. My daughter gets to dress up and my husband. And this year it's Lion King, which obviously I play Nala. So it's the first time I'm doing any appearance as person that stars in The Lion King, which is something I grew up watching and I'm so excited for my kids to see it. But it means even more to share this experience and this culture of The Lion King with my mother and my family. The Waco Gala for me is exciting because it's one of the only red carpets that I do with my family. A carpet is a soft type of flooring popular in homes in the United States instead of tile. In Western culture, the red carpet is a long red carpet that is put down for an important guest to walk on when he or she visits somewhere and receives a special official welcome. In the case of social events with celebrities, like the Waco Gala, red carpet refers to the time and place when the celebrities arrive, which normally includes an actual red carpet. We talked more about these kinds of events in this lesson with Indian actress Priyanka Chopra, which you can check out by clicking at the top. It's one of the only red carpets that I do with my family. My daughter gets to dress up and my husband. And to dress up is to wear particularly elegant clothing, for example, for a special event, or to wear costumes, like on Halloween. Hi, wait, you're supposed to wear a costume. I am. I am a woman who spent a lot of money on a dress and she wants to wear it because soon she won't be able to fit into it. Hey. You didn't dress up either. Yes, I did. I'm Chandler. <laughs> This year it's Lion King, which obviously I play Nala. So it's the first time I'm doing any appearance as a person that stars in The Lion King. A person that stars in The Lion King. It's the first time I'm doing any appearance as person that stars in The Lion King. We say that an actor plays a part in a movie or theatrical performance. As we've already seen, Beyonce plays the lion Nala. Similarly, you have probably heard a celebrity called a star. Well, we can say that the Lion King stars Beyonce, meaning that she is one of the principal actors in the movie. And we can also say that she stars in the Lion King. Example, Emma Watson starred in the Harry Potter movies. If someone does or makes an appearance, it just means that they went to a place, especially briefly. This usually is used for celebrities or other important people. Example, Obama is making an appearance at the charity fundraiser. A person that stars in The Lion King, which is something I grew up watching and I'm so excited for my kids to see it. If you want to say that you did something often or habitually as a child, you can say you grew up doing that thing. Example, I grew up camping a lot during the summer. Closer. He lives in you. Lion King was a story that people knew intimately. Simba. The reason the Lion King has endured is because the inspiration that we're getting from it is universal. <laughs> it's a story that remains true to everybody. The songs were amazing. It just felt like everything you want from a Disney movie. Getting to relive it in a new way is really exciting. What's the motto? Nothing. What's the motto with you? Nice. Boom. I'm entering into Lion King, inheriting all that I learned on Jungle Book. There was a tremendous opportunity to retell the story using a new set of tools and a new technology. John just seems to have it all there. It's really impressive how he just sort of holds that all together. I really admire the vast array of talent that's been assembled for this film. It's a privilege to be counted among these actors. Dad, let me come, I can help. No, son, you stay with the other cubs. And then the music, there was such a rich tradition surrounding the songs that Hans and Elton and Tim Rice and now Pharrell worked on. Also, it's nice to have actors who are both the performers and the singers. You have Beyonce and Donald. They present something totally new and exciting. You have to take your place as king. 
these are real musicians bringing their creative voices to this. Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, Hakuna. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. You guys sounded great. <laughs> This has been a really incredible experience. I've never seen anything made this way before. The level of care where everybody knows how much it means and everybody's that invested. Seeing you again, you don't know what this will mean to everyone. I love the idea of audiences rediscovering something. You know that it's gonna be very compelling and exciting. We wanted to capture what people's memory was of this with both the music and the imagery. And I think when you could capture the spirit but show them something new and surprising, it's sort of the best combo. It is time. All right, I hope you enjoyed that lesson a lot and that it will be really beneficial for you in going to see the new Lion King movie. And remember, don't miss out on this big opportunity for your English fluency at a small price. Check out Fluent with Friends and remember to use your coupon code 700K at checkout to get 33% off. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single one of our new lessons. Check out this playlist of videos teaching you English with movies and this other lesson I know that you're gonna love. Now it's time to go beyond the classroom and live your English. Aw oh, yeah.